Yet Richard Dawkins, and with him much of pop science, sticks to the selfish gene. The gene explains all. Okay, so it's time for a little bit of friendly fire here. I got a comment uh, essentially accusing me of um, giving Nemus a free pass. So here we go. Strike number one. Uh, gene centrism is not the view that uh, genes explain everything. Uh, gene centrism is actually a theory that explains at, at what level evolution uh, works. Now, uh, this is a little bit of an oversimplification here, but uh, it's necessary. Uh, one view is that evolution uh, works, uh, or selection works at a group level. For example, uh, using the example of a flock of birds, uh, one flock of birds is being selected uh, against another flock. That's, uh, that would be group selection theory. The, the other one would be where the individual, uh, that evolution works at an individual level. That's another, um, <clears throat> that's another level of selection. Uh, final and uh, the level of selection that uh, uh, gene centrism refers to is uh, that evolution works at the genetic level. At each individual level uh, gene is selected uh, individually. Um, now, as an aside, these are not uh, conflicting theories. Uh, sometimes it's useful to refer to evolution working at a group level. Sometimes it's useful to refer to evolution working at an individual level. And sometimes it's useful to refer to evolution working at a genetic level. Uh, strike number two is the idea that uh, gene centrism is uh, pop, sci pop science. Proof that gene centrism is not pop science um, is going to be a little personal act of uh, 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 The Selfish Gene, which is a book in which uh, Dawkins explains uh, his uh, genetic uh, theory or whatever. Um, what is rec was recommended reading uh, for a evolutionary biology class that I had to take in college? Uh, in fact, the textbook for the class, which uh, if you look it up, uh, it, I believe is one of the books that is, um, which I believe is the book that is used in most most college level uh, evolutionary biology classes. Uh, cites uh, two Dawk books by Dawkins, including self Gene and uh, Applied Maker. Um, so no, th this is not popular science, this is actual science. I am referring to the view that because genes are selfish, then we are selfish machines. That anything that goes wrong in society is due to a fault in the wiring and not the system that we live in. And right there, uh, Nemus is just exposed to the fact that he has not read the book. Um, the most recent editions of uh, The Selfish Gene, well, I wouldn't say recent, I would say after 2002, uh, contain a foreword by the author that addresses that particular misunderstanding. And uh, it's actually a good read. You don't have to buy the book to read it. I'm guessing there's probably a copy of it somewhere online for free. Um, that uh, basically explains, um, tells a story of uh, that he read in the news that uh, executives at Enron were using, were citing his book uh, as philosophical inspiration, basically. And uh, he talks about how um, that that particular misunderstanding uh, disturbs him. Uh, but perhaps uh, more important is. Uh, a misunderstanding that's uh, repeated throughout the video and that is that he seems to believe that um, uh, this that the view that genes explain everything is a mainstream view and um, first of all that that's simply not true even in the book um, it explains that that genes do not explain everything and uh, that that's basic common sense I mean, um, if you think about what a gene is, a gene 
um, simplified. It's just instructions for creating a protein in your body. Um, a protein does not explain everything. It does not explain society. It does not explain our interaction uh, with our environment. Uh, but the viewpoint that uh, genes explain everything is actually not gene centrism. Uh, he's confusing uh, the term gene centrism with, uh, I believe, uh, that's called genetic determinism, uh, the idea that your genes determine everything. And um, that is not a mainstream view either in academia or in pop science or basically anywhere. The last time those views were mainstream or accepted would be in the 1920s, 1930s, during the eugenics movement. And those have been thoroughly uh, rejected by not just science, but you know society as a whole. And this sort of constitutes a great resolution. Yeah, depending on the circumstances, the most important thing in evolution might be a single gene, a single organism, or a single group. And right there, Robert Sapolsky just shot down Nemesis' uh, central argument. Again, uh, group selection is not incompatible with gene selection. Uh, these are just different theories. Theories are just tools that we use to explain and predict things that we see in the real world. Um, and just like tools, sometimes one tool is more useful than another. You know, sometimes you need a screwdriver, sometimes you need a wrench, sometimes you need a butter knife, sometimes you need a steak knife. Uh, it doesn't mean that group selection uh, cancels out the gene selection. It's just that sometimes it's more useful to speak of evolution occurring at a group level, sometimes it's more useful to talk about evolution working at the genetic level. Um, they're not incompatible. You, you sometimes use one, you sometimes use the other. To reduce humans to being selfish when acts of compassion are always abundantly clear, not out of obligation, but from the game of forgiving tit for tat, People have organized themselves into a cooperative existence with nature before and can do so again. And I think that sums it up. Um, basically, no, gene centrism is not incompatible with uh, human cooperation or the evolution of cooperation in humans and other species. Um, I think what Nemus is uh, um, trying to address is... Uh, more of a straw man, um, this sort of libertarian, Ayn Rand, uh, a very hyper-individualistic, hyper-competitive uh, version uh, of uh, society. Um, but that that is not, that that's not what Dawkins is referring to in his books. That's not what Gene Center is about. Uh, yes, some, some people that support that type of society uh, do sometimes use genetics to support their uh, political or economic models, but uh, that that's not what those actual bi biological model, models are talking about. Um, it, it's more of a misappropriation of science to support a, a social uh, or economic model, but it that is not what those models discuss. That's not what the. That's not what it's about. Simple as that.